Hi, my name is Jeff Lockridge, and I've been a resident of Los Gatos for over 33 years. I've raised two children who are both Los Gatos High graduates. I'm also for the, co the concept of shared and fair affordable housing, but I'm opposed to AHAS as it now stands in a proposed plan and urge the council to vote no. It's very clear that adding hundreds of affordable housing units would affect Los Gatos. The problem is that the current AHAS proposal segregates the vast, majority, the vast majority of the housing in one part of town, thereby exacerbating the impact. Plus, this does a disservice to the future residents since they couldn't walk to local shopping, work, or transit. Also, town businesses won't benefit from new business. Locating most of the affordable housing in the north end of Los Gatos is unfair, especially when there are alternatives that would allow the rest of the town to share the load. The Chevy dealership and the convent are two that come to mind. I think that as the town made its decision, it didn't have the right information, especially from the community. I've repeatedly been told that Los Gatos has informed the public and more specifically, the affected residents. Whatever the method the town is using to get the word out hasn't worked very well. The need for the extra outreach meeting in December is a perfect example. Two neighbors and myself originally found out about this plan in November and just days before the planning commission meeting. We scrambled to educate our immediate neighbors on the plan so that we could come to the town outreach meeting in December prepared to ask intelligent questions. But we were told specifically not to mention anything about AHAS in general. By Wendy, Wendy Rooney told us that. So the staff report that you received about that meeting doesn't talk about our true concerns. Since then, our group has extended our own AHAS education process to a broader neighborhood audience. The one thing we hear every time is, why is it we've never heard of this before? I'm also very disappointed in our town for not really studying the arena numbers which are being pushed on our town by an un unelected group, ABAG. After this round, we will have to respond to an even higher number, close to 100 units every year forever, it seems. Ultimately, what does this mean for Los Gatos? Why haven't you pushed back on these numbers to negotiate a more workable solution like Novato did? The more educated I become about this subject, the more I think that the whole town needs to know about this proposed plan, have a chance to see how it affects all of us in Los Gatos, and for us together, come up with a better, more balanced solution. In the meantime, we urge you to vote no on the proposed plan and to consider the draft motion in front of you.